Imagine being able to play all your Nintendo Switch games on your iPhone. I'm going to be showing you guys exactly that. How to play your Nintendo Switch directly on your iPhone. And I'm not talking remote play. You can play these games directly on your iPhone. So I'm super excited to show you guys this. And I just think it's so cool that you could play one of the newest consoles on your iPhone now in 2025. Okay, so this video can be super complicated, but I went through the process of figuring everything out like a whole like three three days of research guys but anyways in this video I'm going to compile it for you guys very simply and easy is basically just downloading files and just dragging and dropping and that's it all the links that I mentioned will be down below in the description saving you guys so much time but let's jump right in All right, so you will need a computer for this, Mac or Windows, doesn't matter. But this time, I'll be showing you guys on Windows, okay? Because I know most of you guys are on Windows. First things first, click on the link that will be down below the description to Sideloadly. Go ahead and download Sideloadly, install it, and open it up. From here, connect your iPhone or iPad, unlock it, and make sure that your iPhone is trusted. Now, just a disclaimer on Windows, you will need iTunes from Apple's website. So if you have it from the Microsoft Store, delete it. Use the link in the description to download iTunes from the Apple website. On Mac, it don't matter. Okay, from here, we can see our device is connected with USB, and there's also a Wi-Fi option, which is really cool. So it'd be connected to the same Wi-Fi network, but we're just going to be using the cable. All right, so now time to download the Switch emulator. Currently, the Melon X website is down, but you can still download the latest version of Melon next from github i'll put both links down below in the description just in case the website goes back online open up your browser link in the description to melonex go on and download it And once done, simply drag and drop into Sideloadly right over here. From here, if this is your first time using Sideloadly, you will have to enter your Apple ID and password because it's basically using that to sign the application. But this is just a one-time thing, and from here, you could do this without having to sign in. Okay, and just like that, we have Melonex on our iPhone. Now tap on Melonex and you will get this pop-up. Simply go ahead and tap on close, head over to settings, general, scroll all the way down to VPN and device management, tap on your Apple ID and trust and trust again. Open Melonex again and you guys can see it says import keys. So go to this website for the Ryu Jinx prod keys, scroll down, download the latest version, And once done, simply tap on import keys and import both the title and prod keys. Now you guys can see it says add firmware. So again, down below in the description will be a BIS file. Simply go over there, download it. tap on add firmware, tap on the BIS file, and boom, we are done. Wow. Now if you tap on settings for Melonex, scroll to the bottom, you can see where it says increased memory, it says disabled, and for JIT, it says disabled too. So for the switched games to run properly, we want both these to say enabled. So first thing that we need is JIT. So you would not believe this, you simply go to the app store, download an app called Stick Debug. You will get this welcome pop-up, simply go in and tap on allow, and boom, just like that, now we are back. So you guys can see it says select pairing file. Now to get this, we need to go back on our Windows computer or Mac, download this program called Jitterbug Pair.
so on PC, simply run jitterbug pair and boom, just like that, you will get this file pop up right here, which is all that we need. On Mac, it's a little bit different. Go ahead and run jitterbug pair. Go in and search for this. Yes, I forgot the name of the file during this voiceover. But anyways, now you want to transfer this file to your iPhone or iPad. So on Mac, I would just recommend using AirDrop. On PC, I'm just using email to transfer the file to my iPhone. But if you're on Mac, you could just use AirDrop. Once you have that file on your iPhone or iPad, simply just open up Stick Debug, tap that button, go and select the file, and that's it. From here, tap on Connect and select Melon X. Congratulations, you have now enabled JIT. Okay, now we need to get more memory or get more RAM. So link in the description will be to this GitHub. Click on it and download this. From here, again, this is an app. So simply just drag and drop it into Sideloadly. And you will get the app on your iPhone. It's called Get More RAM. Now that you have the Get More RAM app, you want to go ahead and open it up, tap on Settings, and then under Account, tap on Sign In. You want to type in the same Apple ID and password that you've been using, and you can see all this code pop up. Anyways, it might just disappear by itself. And from here, go back to App IDs. Here, you will find a refresh button. And now we have two App IDs. These are the apps that we signed using Sideloadly. We want to tap on Melon X. And just like that, it's just one button, add increased memory limit, going to tap on that. And boom, just like that, now Melon X increased memory has been acquired. Now, if you head back over to Melon X and then tap on settings, when you scroll down, you will still notice that for increased memory limit, it still says disabled. Well, that's because in order for the changes to take effect, we have to reinstall Melon X. So simply go ahead and delete it. And we're going to reinstall Melon X using Sideloadly. Just simply drag and drop again. Go ahead and open up Melon X, import your keys again. And do the same for add firmware, go ahead and select your BIS file. Okay, so from here, all we need are our games. So this is where the disclaimer comes in. Only download games that you actually own. I'm not responsible for anything, and I do not advise that you download games that you don't actually own. But anyways, games are called ROMs, so you would just search on Google for Switch ROMs. I cannot provide a link in the description. But again, only download games that you own, and you can even use a cart dumper like this one to be able to offload the game files onto your computer from your actual game. But those can be expensive, Anyways, I did download Super Mario vs. Donkey Kong, Zelda Breath of the Wild, Super Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and Super Mario Wonder. So, once you have your games downloaded on the Melon X app, open up Melon X the Switch emulator, tap on the plus icon, search for your games, and one by one tap on them. Now, in order to render games, you have to open up the Stick Debug app, select Melon X, and that way you will have JIT also running. Think of Stick Debug as your launcher for Melon X. Alright, well, that's basically it. There's a lot of research and time that went into making this video so if you could please donkey kong that like button and goompa stomp that subscribe button definitely be sure to share this video it's a really cool one enjoy taking your nintendo switch games everywhere you go inside of your pocket this is everyday iTech. tech peace